I'm like turning into that guy. Um, like that motherfucker, like that like a corporate executive who's like super serious and super busy and he just looks like the guy you don't want to fuck with. It all started back in college. They made me wear the suit for business meetings so I could be prepared for the corporate world. You know, and then it came up again, you know, around the office, you're wearing the suit. It was just, uh, um... <sighs> you know, it's, you know, it makes you feel clean, you know, you're following the rules, it helps you fit in around the office because everybody else is wearing the suit. You know, it, it's, it's already started. It's begun. I can see it in the mirror. I can see it in the reflection in the elevator when I'm on my way down after work. After one week only, I already lost the first little piece of my soul. The process has started. The suit is part of the machine. I want this. This is what I want. This is my goal. I don't I don't want to play video games. I don't want to hang out at the bar. I don't want to, um, you know, watch TV. I don't want to... What what else do you do? That's like really all there is to do in life, right? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that stuff. I want to get my work fucking done. And I want to be, I want to get more of it done in less time and spend more time in my day doing it. The only difference is like, you know, you see the landscapers and the contractors, they're out there working 60 hours a week, they're out there working 70 hours a week in the dust and in the sweat and in the sun. I've been there. Um, but you know, you're used to, oh, that's a landscaper, that's a contractor. Well, I just happen to be in a position where I can do something a little bit different, which is help people with their finances help people with their financial planning and their futures and you know making sure they're on track to achieve their goals and minimizing their stress and maximizing their rewards for the work that they're doing and I'm just gonna spend all my time doing that and um, you know instead of procrastinating instead of saying I don't wanna work oh I have to go to work Oh man, so I'll go to work for a little bit, as much as I have to, then I want to go home, do nothing, spend my money, oh now I have to go to work again, oh, and, do that, and do that for the rest of my life, work a little bit every day, just enough, and have that stress hanging over my head and do that for the rest of my life, no way dude, no way dude, I want to... Do it all now. T take that lifetime of work. And do it all now. Do it right now. Not only do I get the benefits of doing it all now and having it done and being able to enjoy the rest of my life, I also happen to live in a capitalistic society where you, when you get all that money up front, you can use that money to make more money by running businesses, investing, um, spending all of it at the casino and doubling it. Like whatever you want. I want my land. I just want to like chill the fuck out and like I'm not allowed to do that. But now I'm going to do that and I'm turning into that guy. The process has started. I want a clean apartment. I do not want a messy apartment. My apartment will stay clean. My cats will stay clean. I will stay clean. Look, if you can't respect that, then I guess you're not my type of person you know they're um low performance mediocre people absolutely hate working with high performance achieving people and high performance achieving people cannot stand working with mediocre people So, um, I 
I don't know, that last thing was just something I heard somebody else say once that sounded cool, and I was like, huh, that's a good point. Both of those things are really true. I was going to go somewhere with it, but there's nowhere really to go with it. I'm just going to leave it at that. This is a good video.